Welcome back to Wave 3 Listens Live. Okay, uh, no one likes those little crawly critters, you know, they, they, they kind of freak me out. I'm just going to go ahead and say it, uh, but they can be dangerous as well. OPC Pest Services, I recommend you give them a call for your home, for your business. I have two experts in the field with me right now. First of all, I have Dennis Adams. Dennis, welcome. Thank you. So from what I understand, you're the termite expert. So, yeah, well, expert might be loosely termed. <laughs> no, that's, I, that's good. I need an expert in this, in this area. And, and Brett Parton, you're the training director for OPC, correct? Yes, sir, I am. All right. Um, I tell you what we'll do. Let's let's break it down one by one, and then let's talk about maybe some programs okay. that people can purchase for their home or for their business. Okay, let's let's talk termites. Okay, uh, you brought in a piece of wood that's kind of scary, but I think we've all seen this, unfortunately. Um, termites are not harmless, are they? they? No, not at all. They can do incredible damage uh, to your home, to structures around your home, etc. So let's take a look at that. All right. What else? So okay, tell me a little bit about this. Well, this is a piece of actual laminate flooring that looks great mm -hmm. on this side. However, once we got into the home, you can see all of the damage where they have trailed through, just eaten all the substructure of the wood. Uh, we actually still have some, although dead, uh, termites that are still there. Uh, this, type of, this time of year is swarm season, uh, so they will come up out of the ground, swarm, trying to find breeding partners, move back down into the ground to form new colonies. And unfortunately, the only time you know you have termites most often is if you see the swarmers. Uh, we just want to make sure that people know they're going to swarm, they're going to go away. However, they're not leaving your home, they're just going back down into the ground. So if you see them, call a professional. Because How unusual is this, Dennis? This is not unusual, is it? Uh, more common than you would care really? to think about. Absolutely. Yeah, then you're right. Then I would care to think about. This is one of those kind of things I think, think sometimes we tend to turn a blind eye. Maybe you see a termite or two and you're going, I'm, I'm okay. Right. Maybe you're not and, and you don't want it to get expensive, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because once you, if you do let it go from year to year, you may not see in the next year, they can cause tremendous damage and you may be now replacing entire windows, door frames, walls, whatever the case may be. Okay. Brad, I'm going to ask you. Okay. You're, you're the ant expert. Yes, or sir. Or that's just one of your areas of expertise. Both these guys are, are very talented. So anyway, Brett, first of all, ants, harmless? Um, well, depending on the species, no. Um, most people don't think of them as a, a physical health threat, but definitely the structure they can be. Uh, they're absolutely the number one um, household pest that we get calls about. Um, they can build nests inside of the colony. I've had customers that, that get bit by ants and they claim that it's painful for them. Oh, okay. And yeah, there could be allergies involved here. What, what about with mosquitoes, the Zika virus? Does it still exist? Do we have to worry about yeah, this? Yeah, I mean, Zika is still out there. Um, Zika causes uh, birth defects in, in children for women that are pregnant. Um, but there's any number of different things that mosquitoes can spread, including things like malaria, dengue fever, yellow fever, West Nile. These things still exist. It's just, again, people don't hear about them as much, and so they start to put them out of their mind, right. just like with the termite issue. All right, let, let's talk a little bit about programs. You, I know there's the Four Seasons program. Yes. I know my house is treated by OPC. Tell folks about programs, and, and the ones that I would think there's some that are they're vital. I mean, because mm -hmm. your home is probably your most you know, a valuable possession. So you want to start at a basic program and then maybe tell you how far you can go here with OPC. Yeah, I mean, there's really three different tiers that people can opt for. We have mm -hmm. our basic four seasons plan that covers most of the creepy crawlies for people, the ants, spiders, roaches, rodents, water bugs, things like that. Um, it's a basic foundation treatment where we come out, treat the, the three feet up the structure and three feet away from it. We're treating the cracks, the crevices around the home. We have our Four Seasons Silver program, which takes care of all that, but we're including the termite work that Dennis was explaining. Um, and then we have our Four Seasons Gold, which takes those basic things. It takes the, the termites, and then it also adds mosquitoes program to it as well. Okay, I, I want to ask you this. Maybe you can help me, Dennis. Is I'm always worried about the fumes in my home. If and when someone comes in and, and treats my home, mm -hmm. I, I think people put that out of your mind, right? I talked to one of your, and by the way, your technician or a service person, whoever they're very knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. You train them well. Uh, so tell me a little bit. Dangerous? Is that dangerous? Some of the fumes mm -hmm. in your home? No, absolutely not. The all the chemicals we use have a very low toxicity level. Uh, the only thing that we require is that once we spray, just make sure the area is completely dry before either you or an animal comes back on it. Uh, but there's really no odor uh, to it, so there's really no concerns there. Dennis, as the commercial sales manager, the success of OPC, I mean, for lack of a better term, you really kind of dominate the market here, which I think speaks volumes to the service that you supply. Tell me about who you cover. I mentioned residential homes, businesses, mm -hmm. just about anyone. So, right? Absolutely. Uh, anywhere from hospitals to schools to manufacturing 
to food plants, to uh, some of our local uh, larger companies with the distillery business, that type of thing. So we, re we really hit all markets. All right, and, and Brett, I'm curious, is it, is it too late? If you have an issue with insects and you see them, is that a time where it's too late or is it ever? too late. No, it's never too late. I mean, it's always easier to address problems in the very beginning, sometimes when there aren't issues right now. Uh, but I have customers that, one of my favorite questions that people ask me, well, if, if you come into the home and there's like millions of bugs, millions of roaches, do you might, might as well burn it down? No, we can absolutely take care of that issue. Um, I think one of the reasons why we dominate the market is through our customer service. It's, it's getting our customers such as yourself on board with us and saying, hey, here's your situation, here's what's going on, here's what you can do to help this situation, and here's where we come in. Yeah, it's, it's really this kind of engagement, it's, it's partnerships with our customers. Interesting, okay. Uh, Dennis, what is the biggest issue here? I think it's probably different in different parts of the country, mm -hmm. but here, if you, if you go into home and if you're talking to some of your staff there, what do they say they see most often? Uh, I mean, it's the most common house pest, as he said, the, the ants, the roaches, um, that can cause problems, however, in this area where the climate here does lead itself to termites, to mosquitoes, to you know all types of uh, of issues that, that can crop up. So I don't know that there's any one that you know we can say we focus on or that we see the most often. I'm going to ask you then again, Dennis. So if someone right now is watching, they go, "Okay, I have some issues. What's the first step? Do you, is there do you come out for an estimate? Do they just go ahead and go to work? You show them the programs. Who who approaches them first? How does it work? Depending on the call, most of the four seasons and general pest stuff we handle through our local call center here. Uh, if there is an issue with termites or uh, bed bugs or something like that, we will send one of our inspectors out and we'll assess the situation, try to understand what's going to be the best course of action for treatment, and then work with the customer to get that scheduled and get them taken care of. And Brett, I hope you don't mind. I'm going to throw a curveball okay. off script here. But as large as you are, do you are you looking for quality people? I mean, you're obviously employing a lot of little billions, a lot of little billions. Are you looking for people? Absolutely, we are. Um, we've had people that that have come through our doors that are of such exceptional quality that even though we don't necessarily have a, a position right then there for them, we hire them and get them in the door. Um, so if you think that that you might fit that that bill, we'll be happy to have you on board. And as sales manager, Ab same to Dennis. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I mean, as Brett said, we're always looking for quality people, whether it's on the technician side, operation side, inside the office. Uh, if you are interested in a career with a great company, then put in your application. And as he said, we often find positions for the right for good people, even if it's not the position that they may want at the time, knowing that we'll be able to plug them into different areas and, and find a good fit. For All them. right. Gentlemen, I enjoyed it. It was educational. You know, this is like I said, one of those kind of things you don't want to think about, but you better think about it. OPC Pest Services. There is the information on your screen. Nice guys like Brett, like Dennis here, they will take care of you and make your home safe and uh, get rid of those creepy crawlers. They can be dangerous. All right. We are live. It is the Thursday edition. We'll be right back on Wave 3 Listens.